everyone today we have as you can see a bit of a different type of video there's no cloak there's no knowledge pill today we are doing a video in collaboration with Adriana who is the owner and founder of Frank Wrap she makes these nice uh, cotton wraps they are waxed they have become pretty famous because they are used instead of cling film um, and they are amazing for a lot of different reasons one is of course that they are reusable so you can reduce your plastic use of a big amount the other uh, cool thing is that when you use them to wrap food they make the food last much longer so if, whether you're using it for your cheese or your fruit or your bread it increases the shelf life of these products and today we are going to teach you how to make your own or how to refresh old ones that you may have because these have a potentially eternal life so Adriana was so kind to send me some uh, cotton some cotton wraps of different sizes uh, and she sent me these nice blocks they are really cute. They're made like a honeycomb and on the back they have her logo. Uh, they are usually sold like this in this packaging of two. Um, and these are the um, bars which we are going to use to refresh our own. In this moment in which everybody's stuck at home, it is a nice idea to do some DIYs. This is something that you can do even with kids. Obviously take the necessary precautions when there is boiling water or iron. On her website she has a nice step-by-step -step instruction list. I'm going to show you what you need for this project. So a pot, something like this, which we will fill with a bit of water. A jar that you don't need anymore. Uh, it's better if the opening is a bit large. I recommend to use a jar that you will leave only for this purpose so then you can reuse it because it will get a bit waxy in there so you don't want to use a jar that you will need then and a brush, a flat brush, uh, between three and five centimeters wide. An iron, then you will need an old kitchen cloth uh, so that you don't make a mess everywhere. Of course, one of the nice wax bars. I am going to put this in my jar, I'm going to put it in my pot, and on a low flame, I'm going to wait until it melts. Uh, you have to do this slowly, it will take between 15 and 20 minutes. Let's go. So here we are. The wax is currently melting. Uh, we have set up our table with an old cloth and now we will prepare the parchment paper. In the meantime, we have asked Adriana to join this video um, in a more digital way. Adriana, thank you for accepting our invite. Can you tell us more about yourself and how you came up with the idea of uh, creating Frank Wrap? Hi, Sonia. Thank you for your invitation. It's a pleasure to talk to you and to talk about Frank Rap. So I came up with the idea of creating Frank Rap because I wanted to stop using plastic cling fuel. It's a product that pollutes, that is not recyclable. It ends up in the ocean, in the landfill. It doesn't have any benefit, quite the contrary. So I really wanted to create something different for my use, for my daily life. And it ended up being my full-time uh, occupation. I am fully dedicated to Frank Rapp to raise awareness around us. And I'm having a very good feedback of my customers, not only Malta, but also abroad. This is really nice, Adriana. Thank you. Can you tell us a bit more of how your wraps are made? Frank Rapp is handmade by me using uh, the best raw materials that I can find in the market. So beeswax are sourced in Malta, pine resin and jojoba oil are certified organic and the cotton as well. The cotton is certified OECOTEX, is the technical name. It means that the cotton is free of harmful chemicals. This is extremely important for two reasons. The first one is because the cotton will be in contact, of course, with food. So it shouldn't have chemicals. And the second reason is because the textile industry is a huge polluter of the environment. So it wouldn't make sense to source a product that pollutes. And why are they special or different from the other wraps that we find on the market? Frank wrap is special because it's 
handmade in Malta. Another reason is because I'm very careful about the source of my raw materials. I try to source locally as much as it is available. Otherwise, I source from Europe because I'm very conscious about uh, our carbon footprint that I don't want to exceed. If there is no reason, I wouldn't buy something from, from China, for example. Another reason is that Frank Rapp donates and supports Hospice Malta. So every time someone buys from our website, directly from frankrapp.com, a percentage is donated to Hospice Malta. And this is very important to me. I, I hold uh, importance uh, to the community. I wanted to give it back to the community. So I think it's, uh, again, we are reducing our consumption of a plastic film. We are reducing the waste of food and we are donating to the local community. The Beeswax blend bar that you are using has the perfect mixture, the perfect blend that I use to make all the wraps. So it's made of, of course, beeswax sourced in Malta. That's a very important uh, point for me. Pine resin that gives a stickiness to the fabric because it is a natural gum. And jojoba oil that gives flexibility to the fabric, otherwise it would break. So this, I trust, makes Frank Wrap special. The bars are already blended, therefore, with the right amount of wax and resin and oil so that you don't need to add anything to them, you just need to wait until they are completely melted. If you have a piece of fabric that you want to use, you need to cut it in the right dimension. As I showed you before, Adriana already sent me different sizes of cotton. The wax is now melted. As you can see, it's completely liquid. We are going to keep this in the pot so that it doesn't harden. Make sure that you don't wash this uh, as the beeswax is going to stick to the pipes. Therefore, no pouring inside the drains. I recommend to keep this jar, as I said, for next time so that you always have a jar for this purpose. So one recommendation that Adriana gives us is to be a bit greedy with the wax. So not use too much, especially in the beginning, because then if you use an excess of it, it's difficult to take it out. So better start with a bit less wax and then if it's necessary, we can add more. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to start painting, so to speak, on my cotton wrap. The smell is amazing. I love the smell of beeswax. I don't know about you, but this is really a nice experience. Adriana, can you tell me if I'm doing everything correctly here? Yes, you are doing it perfectly. Well done. It's very important to put a piece of parchment paper that is much bigger than the fabric. I am not particularly worried about the outlines not being waxed as then when I iron my wrap I will be able to spread the wax in the way in which I prefer, a bit more uniform. This is fun. Brush has started to harden a little bit so I will leave it in my jar. So now that I'm practically done with the spreading of my wax, I'm going to take another piece of parchment paper. We cover the wrap and now we need to go and get our iron. Adriana, do you have any recommendations about, for example, the temperature of the iron or what we should be doing right now? Yes, the iron should be very hot and without steam. That's very important. And also don't put too much pressure on the fabric. You want the beeswax to melt and to spread over the fabric, but not to be out of the fabric. You want to keep it on the fabric. Keep moving, don't put too much pressure, and that's it. You are gonna have a great result. Okay, so we are going to take our iron. The important thing, as Adriana said, is to keep it moving. The wax will start melting and you can see uh, that it's getting wet again and it's also spreading around 
I mean, I can see it. Maybe you can't see it that well. I'm going to show you how it looks like with the parchment paper for now. You can see that it's starting to spread in the corners. I think I should have used probably a bit less. It's spreading a bit to the sides, even where I didn't manage to reach because I thought I didn't have enough wax. So it's becoming more uniform and cute. Now, I need to remove this quite quickly, place it with the wax facing up, then you can grab the sides and now we're going to shake for 30 seconds. It's warm, it doesn't burn your fingers at all. This is what Adriana says, it's not going to burn your fingers. And we shake, shake, shake. I think this is very amusing. So this is how it looks like now. Let me show you one of the wraps that Adriana sells ready-made. They look quite similar. I think there is a bit more wax in the one from Adriana. We're going to try and see how this works. The idea behind these is that the wax is going to stick with the heat of the hands. It will melt a bit and it will stick to surfaces. So one use for these are, for example, covering jars or bowls. Um, in this case, obviously, we have a small wrap, so we are going to use a small jar, but you can use a bigger sized one for bigger bowls. It works quite well, I have to say. I will show you Adriana's. It's a bit more waxy, as I said, and it works a bit better there. You can really see how it sticks. Uh, it becomes also hermetic, so no water will go out of this once it's clinging to the glass. If you're going to use one of your own pieces of fabric, make sure that it hasn't been in contact with chemicals or smelly detergents because obviously this will then transfer to the food. I'm going to show you how to wrap a piece of chocolate in this case. So you just use it as a normal cling film and you can take this around. And as we said before, it preserves the shelf life of most foods, so it keeps them fresh for longer. This beeswax blend bar can be used to refresh all the wraps, not only Freck wrap, but any other brand you can refresh. And it can also be used to do it yourself activities. You can use your own cotton fabric, especially the ones that are very good quality, as you said, that should be free of chemicals because it will be in contact with food. Any other fabric that is 100% uh, natural fiber can be used like cotton, like hemp, and the, the thinner the fabric, the better. I guess you need to play around a bit with the quantity of wax that you apply on your wrap because the one that I just made doesn't stick as much as the ready one. Since I wasn't completely satisfied with the stickiness and waxiness of my wrap, I decided to melt another bar and I'm going to repeat the process that I did before. I still have some of the wax left, but I'm quite satisfied with the result. I don't want to risk having wax everywhere, so I'm going to try it like this. I put my parchment paper back on and we iron it. I'm glad I didn't put more because I think it would have been too much. So I think I can now quickly remove this, take this off just like before and shaky time. I don't know if you can see here on the parchment paper, there is quite a bit of wax left. I'm going to try and scrape this out as we don't like waste, even if it's compostable. We try to reuse as much as we can. This looks ready. Let's see if it now sticks a bit better than before. Yeah, this is the result that we like. I think mine is a bit less waxy still but I'm quite satisfied with how it sticks to itself. This is the whole point of these wraps. Um, I'm going to show you one of the ways that I like to use these. I just fold it like this, not exactly on the middle. I just leave a small piece out. 
and I fold this in twice. Then I fold the bottom and I make a sort of bag. If we want to call it like that, you can put your nuts inside or your snack inside and then you close it back on the top and you have a nice pouch. One recommendation for when you wash these, always wash them of course with cold water as you don't want to melt the wax off and when they wear out you can repeat the process and refresh your wraps. So on Adriana's website you can get access and purchase the wrap bars that you have seen but you can also purchase her ready-made wraps. They come in this nice paper packaging and uh, they have uh, different sets so you can either buy sets of two of three the large ones for bread. I will open one to show you. The prints are always changing so you can get different ones according to what she has. So this is the size that I just showed you before. And then we have in this set a bit of a bigger size. I use the bigger one for bowls usually and the smaller ones when I need to carry them around. And here we have, this is quite a massive one. So you really can find everything that you need. Adriana, can you tell us more of where we can purchase your uh, products? You can buy Frank Wrap and the Beeswax Blend Bar directly on our website. Rem remembering that a donation is made to Hospice Malta. Or you can buy Frank Wrap products directly at Hermesans or at any other stockists that are listed at frankrep.com and through our website we ship internationally so this is a very important aspect as well at the moment i am offering free delivery to 14 european countries in order to promote the importance of keeping our food fresh for longer in these moments of challenge that we should not go out as often as before to buy food. So we have the opportunity to support local business like Frank Rep and many others. And you also have the opportunity to keep your food fresh for longer uh, using this free delivery. That's my intention at the moment. Congratulations for your work, Sonia. You are doing a very, very useful uh, tutorial not only today but about your knowledge appeal that I particularly like it very much. Thank you very much for your invitation and I see you very soon. Thank you so much Adriana, thank you for being here and thank you for making these wonderful products. I hope you all enjoyed this small do-it-yourself and see you next time. <music>